How's it going today, everybody? So we're back here, so we're back preparedness. Now we're going to do a little bit of arts and crafts today. I just wanted to show you guys what this looked like beforehand. I've actually got it broken down. I just went ahead and kind of laid the pieces back on it and stuff, so that way you can know what it looked like beforehand. And before anybody gets everything all up in a bunch, no, this is not an AR. This is just a little 22. But uh, it still looks like a big black rifle, don't it? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, see what we can do with this today. I got quite a few colors here. Going to do a different, few different patterns and maybe even give it a little bit of that uh, battle-worn look. But uh, let's have some fun today. Right now we got a little bit uh kind of started here it's just first coat i was thinking about adding the darker colors and everything but i'm really kind of liking the way that looks truthfully but i've got some other small pieces out here it's still early in the morning day's just getting going so we'll get everything kind of painted up and a few coats on it and then i'm pretty sure we will still go ahead and do some patterns on there just just for the heck of it, just for some fun. That's all this really is, because, I mean, obviously the paint color on this thing isn't going to matter whatsoever. I mean, like I said, it's just a little 22. You can see the magazine right there. I got it taped up, so that way the part going in doesn't get any paint on it and kind of get stuff jammed up, because that would both suck and be stupid. So, we're going to keep this a rolling here. We got a first coat on uh, one side of everything pretty good here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start getting the second, well, back side. I want to make sure I get everything covered real well. We are going to go ahead and leave the, uh, the barrel black. So I got it all taped off there. And you can see the main part of it right there. We're going to go ahead and start painting it as well. But uh, we're going to get all this going on. Flip it back over. Get a real good coat on the other side again after doing a second coat on this side and then uh we'll start putting a little detail on everything now um i've got a few things i might end up using now the, the real idea behind camouflage which with this like i said it's just for the fun i mean it's just a little 22 and everything you know i thought it would be fun to do but uh it's just to break up the line around stuff you know there's I can't even tell you truthfully how many different types and patterns and all that kind of stuff of camouflage there is out there. But what it really comes down to is just to break up your line. Um, if anybody uh, has any suggestions, I do have a few other things that I kind of would like to maybe do in the future. Uh, I'm kind of a fan of the, uh, the Cryptek style camo. But uh, list down below, you know, what's your favorite kind? What do you like? And I also want to apologize for any of the wind. Wind's picked up, you know, since earlier this morning. But let's go ahead and get this side covered and uh, start on that thing there. And then we'll be uh, working on the patterns here in a little bit. And I'll show you how I do that.
we've got a couple other little parts I want to show you here. This right here goes on the front for the strap. And this right here is the top rail. It goes uh, kind of up there. And that there is what my scope goes on. So I'm going to go ahead and get them painted up too. I hate to get everything else looking like this. And these here are solid black. And once again, we're just going to go ahead and get everything to uh, dry a little bit. And then uh, we're going to start on some of the designs to it. And just, like I said, just have some fun with it. Now I think this right here is what we're going to end up using as our pattern. Um, it's real small, got a lot going on. Help break up everything real well. And it's just growing here on the side of the house. And one of the pots I had for a tomato plant last year. Uh, I think it'll work. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut some. Well, actually before we get into it. Got another new knife that the little ones went ahead and got hold for me. Got a flashlight down here, bottle opener, glass breaker, and another ferro rod in there. So, you never have too many of those things on you. I'm going to go ahead and get some of this here cut up. And uh, we're going to take it over there and get some of them patterns going on on that stuff. folks so here's kind of where we're at just give you a quick overview here we're gonna go ahead and let this stuff right here dry so let's get this stuff back together and see what it looks like okay so we got everything back in here all kind of laid out ready to be put back together I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll just do a jump right here to when we're done so you guys don't have to sit through all of that but we'll go ahead and get the tape off of it and get it put together and then I'll show you what it looks like with uh we got a few little extras that go on it too that I didn't paint but I thought it would just be something fun something different you know just a just something for a Saturday to have a good time but anyway I'll see you on a second so there we go. That's what it looks like fairly put back together. I've still got the scope and a red dot there that I got to put back on it. Part of its normal stuff. Uh, I may end up painting those, but of course that's going to take a lot more taping and everything else. After I get it all put back together, of course, I'm going to have to go out and shoot it and get everything zeroed back in properly because it was pretty well dead on beforehand. So, but I thought it'd be a fun little project. I've honestly never painted one before so i just figured i'd bring y'all along with me on this let's go ahead and get that close up and we'll just kind of go end to end on it here and y'all let me know what you think like i said we went ahead and left the barrel black because i didn't really see any sense in going ahead and doing anything with it my luck i'd probably messed it up more than i'd made it good so that's kind of what it looks like end to end. I don't think the light in here is doing it very good either. I've definitely got to go ahead and get some better equipment here. If I'm going to be doing a better job for y'all on this stuff. But I hope you enjoyed our little art project today. And let me know if any of y'all have ever gone ahead and painted one yourself. 
Like I said, this here was the test dummy. Just a simple little 22. I know it's got all the little things on it and everything else, but that's all it is. Just a little Mossberg 22. Alrighty. Now, somebody had asked me about ammo, and I just wanted to go ahead and throw this in there right quick. Now, I've got uh, several up here for you. You can see these ones that are hollow points. These two down here are uh, actually subsonic rounds. And uh, this one right here is the one that I use the most. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lay these down and I'll show you the real difference that you're going to see in this one compared to all the others. Okay, now that we've got them laid down here, you can really see the difference between this one here and these others out there. Now, these over here got a little bit more of a rounder nose to where these kind of got a little bit more of a... That one's got a pretty decent point compared to these others. But you can see just exactly how much lead is in this one here. There's a huge difference between this one and say this one here on how much lead is kicking out there. This one here actually puts a pretty good size hole in targets. So somebody had asked me, I just wanted to go ahead and show just a little bit out there. Uh, the person I had also asked about, you know, small game and stuff like that. There is a 22 round that, um, my grandfather always used for uh, rodents and stuff like that. It uh, has a plastic end on it and it's full of little pellets, just basically like birdshot. So um, I don't have one to show, but you know, if you're looking for something for like rodents or just small, I think it's called a varmint round, to be honest. Um, if you go looking for that, I'm sure you'll be able to find it pretty easy. But I just wanted to kind of point out the difference between this one right here and all these others. Uh, like I said, that one there puts a pretty good size hole in the target, you know, just for being a little 22. Alrighty, folks, I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. Uh, if you would, down in the description below, let us know what's your favorite kind of camo. You know, do you do your own or just go ahead and go with stuff that's already done? This was just a quick little thing, trying it out. See if y'all would like it or not. But I hope you enjoyed our arts and crafts today. This is the Silverback. Y'all stay humble out there.